The Supreme Court of the United States heard oral arguments today on the constitutionality of Texas's new restrictive abortion law. And here to talk about this is Diana Gomez, Advocacy Director for Progress Texas, and former Texas GOP Chairman James Dickey. Diana, beginning with you, Progress Texas put out a statement this morning saying the law should never have gotten this far. How so? It shouldn't have. Um, every day that SB 8 uh, has been the law of, uh, in Texas has been one more day that people are denied the ability to exercise their constitutional rights. For nearly two months, thousands of Texans have been forced to either make costly trips outside of the state to receive um, constitutionally protected health care or carry pregnancies against their will. And Justice Kagan noted this morning that usually Justices would have to take a guess as to what the chilling effect would be of a case. Uh, but right now in Texas, this is the rare instance where we've seen the effects already happening. Let's talk a little bit more about that, Diana. What is the legal argument coming from your side before the court? So it's, it's very important that, um, you know, we know, take note of the harm we're seeing in Texas and know that it is a case study of the dangers to come if Roe falls, because more states would be allowed to roll back abortion rights. If the Supreme Court has any respect for decades of its own precedent, the justices must step in to block this cruel ban. No matter what the court decides, though, abortion is a human right, it's health care, and Texans won't stop fighting until every person is able to access the abortion care that they need.